guys, it's Victor King of the Morons, uh, and it's snowing like a bitch out here. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I look like. Look at that. Snow everywhere. Whoop. Red light. Crossing red light. So, um, someone suggested I show them Japan instead of just me as I uh, walk around. So, I, I will. I just thought it would be funny. Uh, not, not funny, but I was, inter I was interested tonight. Very interested tonight. I had a class. I had a very, very advanced student. Uh, she's actually a teacher at a high school. And I have quite a few teachers from high schools. I teach quite a few eleva uh, elevated. <laughs> I'm, I'm advanced. Advanced students. And this one is one of the, one of the highest. Uh, if not, maybe the highest even. Her English is extremely good. And we were discussing the Bible. She had read the Bible. She was much like myself when she was in high school, oh no, I'm sorry, junior uh, uh, elementary school, she spent a lot of time reading. I did too. I spent a lot, a lot of time reading when I was a kid to the point where uh, my parents thought that maybe something was wrong with me. Like when summertime ran around, came around, I would just go to the library and like check out, you know, 12 books or 20 books or whatever and just go home and read them all. That's what I enjoyed. That's what I really liked doing. And they're like, you got to get out and play with other kids. So I'd go to my friend's house and then borrow all their books and shit. <clears throat> I remember I went, uh, went to my buddy Johnny, Johnny's house, borrowed all his uh, books, came back to my house. Anyway, I'll go into 7-Eleven just to kill some time as I do this laundry vlog. If you haven't figured out it's a laundry vlog, well, except there's things to see like snow, like snowing like a like the Dickens out here. And that's the only... Actually, I usually would say it's snowing like fuck. So. <laughs> but to keep this channel clean, I've decided to say it's snowing like the Dickens. Look at that. Well, you can't really see. Oh, damn. You can't really see how beautiful it is here. The snow is so beautiful. Look at this. You can't see that tree up there. Oh, that's a shame. There's a tree right there full of snow. Can you see it? You can barely see it. <coughs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's the simple things, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> it's the simple things. Okay, so I'm going to go in the store and continue. So anyway, this woman, we were going, we were talking about the blackface thing. And although she's incredi incredibly intelligent, she didn't think much of the, uh, the black thing problem. You know, she said, you know, they're just emulating. They're completely respectful. Oh, no, that's what it was. We were talking about the first of Islam and how... She didn't feel she had a right to criticize. Oh yeah, the uh, hub, oh, France. Oh, that's where that's where it started. Okay, so the the Habib thing. No, is that the Habib? The thing that the the women wear, the Islamic women wear over their heads, over their bodies. The, I think it's just a headgear, head uh, head scarf or something. Um, so she apparently they've they've been outlawed in France. And she, we were talking about that, and she said uh, that she, she thought it wasn't fair for her to judge them since she did not, uh, that had nothing to do with her, that religion. But I was, I was thinking, well, I understand that, but sometimes, but those religions, uh, Islamic, Jew, uh, Jewish, and Christian religions are very judgmental, and they often judge us. Mom, <laughs> uh, she's waiting. Um, and then uh, we talked about, you know, my my mixed feelings about religion, which are partially that um, half of me feels that I should ridicule religion and treat it as if, you know, when someone says I believe in God, I should half of me thinks I should just respect it just as much as I respect people who claim they they've been. Uh, they've seen aliens or been, you know, been kidnapped by UFOs and stuff like that. You know, basically not respected, uh, things like that. <clears throat> but, um, just know, let me buy this. Onashimasu. Michiwa. Hi. Okay. Prove I'm 20. Hi. Just a moment. Hi. 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 H
Eso no me ha dicho. Ya, 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 Yeah, so, okay, long story short, half of me feels like religion should not be respected at all, okay? Make it simple for you guys. <laughs> and half of me thinks, oh, we should respect people's religions, right? Because half of me thinks they're, you know, believing in... So, like, half of the God stories are just ridiculous. And I pointed this out to her, and she said, well, yeah, that's true about <laughs> religion all over the world. Half of the stories are ridiculous. And she, and she actually said that, and I was impressed uh, to hear that, to hear her say they're ridiculous, right? Let me open up this strong zero. Open the strong zero, huh? Um, so yeah, we talked about that. And then, um, she was, in, she's incredibly intelligent. It was really, it was really cool to talk to her. And then for some reason, we started talking about Cain and Abel. Oh yeah, there, yeah she, she said, for example, Cain and Abel, you know, that's just crazy. And I'm like, uh, what do you mean? She said, well, like Cain did his best to please God. I mean, he really tried to make God happy. And, you know, God just ignored him and God just, God only loved Abel. And then Abel was like all stuck up about it. He was like, yeah, God loves me more than you, dude. He flaunted it. He bragged about it, right? And, and so in the end, you know, a, uh, Cain ends up killing Abel. And uh, <laughs> she said, and it's all God's fault. He's so selfish. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. That's what it, I'm sorry. I got to back up a little bit. So. So we started talking about how, how um, the difference between uh, yeah I asked I asked her if she believed believed in God I got to really back up I asked her well do you believe in God because I, I didn't I didn't she's kind of a new student I've only had her like four times and I said well do you believe in God she goes ah that's a difficult question she said I'm I'm Japanese so we're we have a different opinion about God and. And we don't think about it the way, you know, Westerners think about it. And what, we, what she was referring to was a judgmental way that Westerners think about God, right? We were all like, uh, I use a Chinese restaurant. Look at the stuff in the, in, the, in the window is different. So she had just pointed out how Westerners are really into, um, their, their God is different. And she said she didn't like the Western God. Because I pointed out that the, that the Islamic God and the Jewish God and the Christian God is really judgmental. And um, because she said, she, you know, I said, she said she didn't feel like she had a right. Let me back up. She said she didn't feel like she had a right to judge, uh, to judge uh, Islamic culture or enough to ban the, the headscarf, right? And I said, well, they judge us. I mean... Not, not just they, but we judge everyone, all, all, uh, everybody judges everybody. She says, well, J but Japanese don't. And I said, that's what I like about um, Japanese religion. It's not, it's not like encroaching, you know. Like my wife is actually pretty religious, but she just, she doesn't even bother me, bother me with it at all. It's like she's got these, we go to the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, look how beautiful that is, those trees over there. That's actually beautiful, isn't it, that scene? Look at the, the snow on the trees. That's just gorgeous. I don't know if you can really tell on the camera here, but it's really pretty. Look, my wife has these good luck, like, uh, I don't know, signs, stickers made up. They're not, they're not stickers. They're like blessed. Okay, she goes to a Shinto shrine. And he blesses these pieces of paper, and writes some kanji on them. And she brings them home and she puts them up in certain feng shui type places around the house, right? And, and I, and yet she pays like 5,000 yen every year for this. And, you know, I don't really care. I mean, I like going to the temple and shrine and shit. And, and I know the priest is probably, you know, <laughs> I mean, I know they're making money off this. this. is how they make their money. But, you know, I like the temple there. I like the shrine there. I want it to stay. I don't believe in any of that shit at all. But uh, I have no problem supporting it in my own hypocritical way, because I want the shrine to stay and the, sh and the temple to sh stay. 
The more I think about it, the more I think it's impossible to, to eliminate religion without basically destroying the fabric of society. If, you, if we were to eliminate religion in Japan, all the temples and shrines and shit, and probably the, even the design of this bridge would change. I think everything's interrelated and interconnected, so. Oh, I'm glad I'm, I'm actually, I feel like I'm learning something. Oh, I feel that. It's a weird squeak, isn't that neat? The sound of snow crunching under my feet. It's pretty cool, huh? Okay, so that's a pachinko parlor, by the way. I actually don't live in this area. I'm just walking <laughs> just to give you guys some view here. Um, but anyway. Okay, so Cain and Abel. Let's go back to Cain and Abel. So she talks about judgment, judge, judgmental gods and how Japanese gods are not judgmental. And she really likes the anim, animistic, I think it's called animistic uh, religions. You know, basically there's a god in the mountains and the, and the river and the and the rocks and everything, you know, the gods everywhere. But, um, but you know, Ju Ju Judeo-Christian gods are a little bit different. So she talks about that a little bit. And she talks about Cain and how she's pissed off at Cain. No, no, she's pissed off at God because God made Cain jealous by only loving Abel. And she equates that to her own family life. And she, she was like a really good daughter. She studied really hard. But her mom, for some reason, loved her brother more than her. I don't... I, you know, well, that's, that's the sense I got from the conversation. And I can understand that. I, my, my feeling is that my mother loves my brother more than me. But, you know, it's okay. I mean, I, I'm just not like my mother doesn't love me. I think she just... She has... She, I think, personality-wise, she's closer to, to my brother. Uh... Which is fine, you know. I'm closer to my father in, in my mind. So, just walking around. So, there's no problem, right? Okay, so we got that established. <laughs> so, she understands. She, she identifies with Cain and she thinks that God is to blame. She's like, God's an asshole. <laughs> she didn't say that, but she could have. I mean, she's like, God, God is so selfish. That's what she said. She said, God's so selfish, you know. Like, um, he... He only loves Abel, even though Cain does his best to make God happy. You know, Cain really wants God to love him, but God only loves Abel. And so, and Abel like flaunts it. So Cain like, well, screw this. I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> oh, you can't see this beautiful tree here full of, oh, it's just this camera sucks because it's, it's an old iPhone 5. Sorry, but you can't see that one. Uh, anyway, all these cars full of snow, covered with snow, beautiful. Anyway, so she talks about that. And then, but then we get talk, talking about Abraham. And she starts laughing. She's like, you know, I read the whole Bible. She, this woman actually read the whole Bible when she was, in, when she was an elementary school student. She, says she did it one, one summer. And she didn't understand a lot of it, but she did understand like all the ages. She, she, she remembers... Like, everyone lived to be, like, hundreds of years old. And I said, yeah, yeah, when I was a kid, I read the Bible, too. And I was always, always, like, impressed by, <laughs> by that. Like, why is everyone, like, so fucking old? It's so bizarre. You know, 900 years old. And, and, and as time progresses, or as you, as you go through the Bible, just um, people get, people's lifespans seem to get shorter and shorter. And I always thought that was funny. And anyway, she, uh, oh, look at this beautiful. Oh, I can't see this, can you? You guys see this? It's so beautiful. No, oh, you can't really see it. It's really bright here. Maybe if I get on this side, yeah. You can see a little bit better. There's all the snow here. All right. All right, you can't. Ah, oh, forget it. This whole, this whole road is full of things like that. Okay, so, um, then we start talking about Abraham. And she's like, yeah, he lived like to be like 300 years old. And I said, I don't think so. I, for some reason, I believe it. I remember, and I look it up as we were talking on my laptop, and it's, he lived to be 175 years, and she's like, yeah, God, like, he couldn't have a baby forever, and he got old and shit, and she didn't say that, <laughs> but he got really old, and then he couldn't have a baby, and then finally he has a baby, and then God says, like, kill it. <laughs> I'm like, what? And she's like, he's so selfish. Why did he say kill the baby? I don't understand. Like, what's the deal with God, right? He's so selfish. Like, I don't like this kind of God. 
which is true. It's kind of a weird thing to demand, you know. You have a one of your one of the people who loves you so much. Uh, <laughs> how do you reward him? You tell him just kill your son for me. Just a, just a, just a weird thing to just. Lo it's just so illogical. It's just so illogical, right? But that's what God demands, right? So she talks about that, and then she talks about how, you know, God is so selfish, and he's, and she much, much more prefers the Greek gods because even though they're all selfish, she can kind of relate to them more. Because I guess, I guess the, the the difference is we expect more from God, right? I mean, from the Judeo-Christian God, we expect more from Him, but we don't expect more from from Greek gods. Greek gods are all. They're all petty and selfish, and, and uh, she's like, yeah, they're all womanizers or manizers. She said, she actually said manizers, which was pretty impressive, because that's not a word, but it's a word that you can make up, and people would understand as being a made-up word. But she talked about that, how she pref and uh, and, she, and she remembered like, like I studied Greek philosophy and Greek, um, not Greek. Oh yeah, actually Greek philosophy. So. But uh, I studied about the uh, the Greek gods and stuff and all that stuff, and um, she remembered. Except they pronounced things differently, so we had tr trouble communicating. Like Athena in Japanese is Athena in English, and, and she talked about the Japanese gods and how some old Japanese god he would wipe his he wiped his face and created the god from just by wiping his face he created the, the God of the sun, and by wiping his his one eye, he created, he created the God of the moon, and just by wiping his mouth, he created the God of whatever. Uh, some guy who got apparently got expelled for just being a bad boy. Anyway, it was pretty interesting, and uh, it was just really really cool to talk to a Japanese person who knew so much about Western culture, uh, and knew actually, to be honest, probably yeah, more than I did. Or it, it was it was fresher in her brain, or she just she just has a better memory than I do. You know, I didn't remember a lot of the things, but but I knew them to be correct. I could identify them as being correct. So that was cool. But anyway, it was, I was uh, I came out of the class feeling pretty high, as in, wow, this was really this was really fun, and I only I only was able to actually give her a few pointers. A few, I was only able to give her a few words that she didn't know, like she didn't know, like I said, ostracized, and she didn't know, flaunt. But that was about it. I was, there was a few other words. She, she made a few mistakes here and there, but mostly she was excellent. She was just a, just a pleasure to talk to. So, And she knew quite a bit. And here I'm walking, walking in the uh, loft. I don't know where the hell I am now. But this is a laundry vlog, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just walking around in, this, in the dark. I go out to a main road and try to get my bearings. But um, I guess the only really point you want to bring, take away from this is if you're a Christian, a Jew, or a Muslim, then generally speaking, your God is a lot more judgmental than the, than the Japanese gods. Japanese generally consider themselves Buddhist. Uh, half of their ceremonies are Buddhist. For example, uh, weddings are generally Shinto, but funerals are Buddhist, things like that. I don't know about uh, birth ceremonies. Yeah, we're supposed to take our kid to the, sh to the shrine, which would, which would be Shinto. Uh, and when you build a new building, a Shinto, god come, a Shinto priest comes out and blesses the ground that you're building, your, uh, that you're going to build on. So, I suppose that's that's Shinto, of course. Uh, I'm sure there are more Buddhist things involved too, but mostly it's mostly it's mostly Shinto. Anyway, but most importantly, they're not. It's not a judgment, judgmental religion. She, oh yeah, she uh, she joked at the fact that she knew she knew that um, some Christians and some Jews according to the Old Testament, didn't even consider her a human being. And that was interesting. Like, look at that, man. She knew that people 
didn't even consider her a human being, but she was okay with that. You know? Yeah. It's good, it's good to be okay with yourself no matter what, uh, what other people think. I think that's important. Important to know. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. There's some traffic fading out. Good night. I want the nipple. I want the nipple.